period piece jokes. Like they do well with the comedic timing for the era too. So it's just like good, clean fun. I like it. Whoops, sorry, I just played a drop over you. Uh, but yeah, clear enough. Uh, draft time. Yay. So Mark, you finally got a win last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to take a victory lap on winning a Batman topic? Well, I don't think anyone's surprised I won that. I was. We can the move on. Sucked. I will. Uh, I'll pick the order, I guess. How about we'll do Smithers Brick myself? Wow, you want me to go first? Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, I know what one you're gonna pick. Well, yeah. I, I, I don't think that's a flex when you come in and say like I know which pick you're gonna pick. Like on a lot of these, you know who won one overall for Batman movie should be. be. It's fucking yeah. Heath Ledger, Ledger Joker. True. And that's. I, yeah, so like coming in and saying that, you know that I'm going to... So for the listeners, we are doing time travel movies this week in honor of watching The Adam Project, which we discussed earlier. Basically, Ryan Reynolds comes back and fucks with his earlier self, which they grossly ignore time travel physics and everything. Not that it fucking matters. I secretly kind of think, and you guys let me know if you agree, removing actual reality from these movies makes them so much fucking better. Mm-hmm. That's true, yeah. too. Yeah, just be like, ah. I agree with that. Be over when it, you, yeah. When you don't have to worry about, like, oh, we're going to piss off the science community. Like, the butterfly cares? effect. Everything's chaos. No, just. You got fucking Neil like, Grass Tyson ruined. out here tweeting about you. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so, anyways, we're doing time travel movies, and I will go first, and I will select one of my favorite movies of all time, Back to the Future 2. Uh, it's in my eyes, the best of the trilogy and can't be beat. I, it's another one of those eighties campy movies, but everyone in it delivers a, what I think is a perfect uh, performance and the, the portrayal of the future and Biff and the, the Trump character that he is was, was just brilliant. And I, I love the movie. Plus it's a mm-hmm. DeLorean who doesn't love a DeLorean. It's well done. It's well done. Should we be able to pick more than one movie from a franchise? If you want to, I don't give a shit. So you I'm, just, I'm just get thinking... Back to the Future is what he's saying. You don't get yeah. like, Back I don't to the Future. Fun, for the though. record, I specifically mentioned Back to the Future too. I, I know, I get that. I, I get that, but I just feel like us having Back to the Future is not that fun. I feel like you should just get... I can think of one other franchise that this can well, take place in. Well, and... Just do whatever you can do. And do whatever the fuck you want. Any okay. movies that you want doesn't matter. Who cares? Okay, sure. Go ahead, break. Um, the other easy layup, I guess, should be Back to the Future one. <laughs> but no, I'm I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do Hot Tub Time Machine. I just fucking love that movie. It's just such a funny, well done movie, and Craig Robinson absolutely <laughs> kills it. When I fucking does, uh, love Craig Robinson, dude. When he starts singing. So what was the song? The Black Eyed Peas song. Like, keep running, running, and running, 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 and this is like Craig Robinson is just trying not to break break his character. I need he's to so, go and watch so like episodes of Eastbound and Down. I need to watch the it's entire incredible. series. Entire, it's feel it. Entirety. Down in my clothes. Take her to a farmer's market. <laughs> All right, Mark. Give me two picks. Uh, okay. I'm going to go with Terminator. The Terminator. Sorry. And I'm also going to go with. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Sick, dude. Wow. All of these are like series of films. I mean, except I know. Time Machine, I guess. Yeah. Did they do a second one? They, they did do a shouldn't. second one. Oh, it they was did bad, do a wasn't one. it? it was dude, why don't we why fine. don't we just take the franchise? I, I feel like me taking back to the future is just kind of like, like you should get back to the even future. Gonna be a problem. I should get Terminator. Okay. Whatever. Who fucking cares? This, this is not as important as we too. seem to make it every week. <laughs> no, everyone's like, just it fucking do really it. really doesn't fucking matter. So, I'm going to go with Click, the Adam Sandler movie. You know, okay. I don't know why. That movie just gets me every time he's like in the rain with his dad. I'm just like, oh, it's just such a well-written and just 
it like hit me harder than I thought when I first saw it in theaters. I was like, damn, Adam Sandler. That's a sneaky pick. I you probably could have held on to that. I think you would have gotten some value. You could have held on to your two picks right there, Brick. I didn't even yeah. think of Hot Tub Time Machine. That is a good pick, though. How did you not think of the on one with Time Machine in the name? <laughs> We're doing time travel movies. You fucking dingus. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't think of it. All right, I'm going to take Avengers Endgame. Pandering. I'm sorry. You don't like that movie? It's okay. It's not better than Infinity War. Take that to my grave. Wow. I okay. I don't have that strong feelings about it, but sure. Uh, and I'm, I think I might. No, I got to get this one here because if I don't get it, I'm going to be really pissed. Another one of my. Wow. Do I have a thing for uh, time travel movies? Not time for that. What? No pun intended either. Go. Go ahead. <laughs> it's uh, Idiocracy. I knew that was one of your secret picks. It's not a secret. It's just it's thought, a okay, brilliant so movie still, that I talk about a lot. Waiting. We're still waiting on the, I got one that I'm going to pick last. I'm, I'm waiting. It's my little ace up my sleeve. You it's an incredible like movie. Five hours ago. Luke Wilson, and it's hilarious. You got Dax Shepard in there. Uh, who else? There's, I mean, it's a, it's a Steven Root, and it's, it's just a fucking brilliant movie about how stupid we are and probably will just continue to get dumber. Uh, at Brick, as our resident time travel expert, uh, you can probably speak to how shitty next year is. But uh, yep. in the meantime, how would you give me another pick? It's my turn? Or do you went yes. twice? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Austin Powers. So this good. is... All three yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah I mean, you get them. But he, he does try time travel in all three of them. Wait just a moment. I guess eh, just he doesn't no, in the first one. He's just them. frozen. Yeah. Whatever you guys, uh, Austin Powers the Two Austin is Powers. definitely time travel. Definitely time, just t- time travel. Just, just tell me what the second one. Whatever. Yeah. Tell me what uh, image Austin Powers. you want me to use yeah, for one right. movie. I guess we're just going franchise now. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Mark, you got two more. All right. I'm going to go Edge of Tomorrow. Tom Cruise. TC, my guy. Middle Tooth. Big. My... Sick. Great movie. Great. It's movie. still a better. Uh, it's better that they renamed it Live Die Repeat because that's a way cooler name. Hmm. Edge of Tomorrow sounds like a fucking high school Christian rock band. They renamed it? I, I mean, it was based on a book that was originally called that, and I, I guess when they released the DVDs, they called them uh, Live, Die, Repeat. Oh, okay. I thought that was just like maybe a title, yeah. like a tension grabber. A tagline, yeah. All right, Mark, one more. Palm Springs. I thought about it. It's not really. Even... I thought that was your last pick. That's why I took it. I'm like, oh, Smithers for sure wants that movie. I do love that Great movie, pick. but I don't Fantastic love it because pick. it's a time travel movie. You know, does that make sense? I don't know. Plus, I don't think I that think many some of the best really scenes are it. because, yeah. I, well, I think some of the best scenes are because it's a time travel movie, like the opening scene where he's just knows exactly what's happening, and then you realize, oh crap, he's been he's been doing this for the last whatever. He time travels back to the beginning years. of the day. That's fair. All right, Brick, your last pick, please. I am torn between doing Star Trek 2000. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to go X-Men Days of Future Past. Thank you for taking that so that I didn't have to. I want, I I know. Well, I was going to take Palm Springs, honestly. but That's a banger of a movie. I loved the way that they tied everything together with the X-Men, like Days of Future Past. I thought that was really interesting and well done. I agree completely. Uh, with my final pick, I think this is more of a time and a place thing. But for me, The Butterfly Effect is a great movie with Ashton Kutcher. So I love up. that movie. It's such that a fucked up movie, up. and it's really sad and depressing. Oh. But it's it's really well done. So if you haven't caught that, uh, I think that's going to be a sleeper for a lot of people that like recognize. I haven't thought about Butterfly Effect in ten years. But yeah, yeah Butterfly so. Effect was an absolute that banger. Movie. I haven't thought of it till now, and I'm pissed that I'm not. When he takes his hands movie. and shoves him on the oh, fucking stop. needles. Oh my god! Stop. Okay. Uh, I will recap quickly. My picks were Back to the Future Two, or I guess just Back to the Future if we're just doing the franchise. Yeah. Uh, Avengers: Endgame, Idiocracy, and Butterfly Effect. Brick got Hot Tub Time Machine, Click, Austin Powers, and X Men: Days of Future Past. These really tell a story about who's selecting them, doesn't? <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> And Mark got Terminator, Bill and Ted, Edge of Tomorrow, and Palm Springs. So uh, when you see this on Twitter next week, uh, make sure you vote for me and fuck everybody else. Uh, currently, oh, you're at, cheating. 
You're three, cheating. Three to <laughs> one to one. So uh, that's where we stand on this current season. And with that, boys, we can move on nope. to our review. Three to two. I have two wins. Yeah, I, got, I had the war hero movies. 